Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today it's weekend again. And in today's video I'll fix both my paint damage at the window wipers and the damage at my rims. First we wash some of the dirt off with water before going over the whole car with a sponge and soap to make sure that every spot is clean and no dust get left behind. And ending with the front of course to make sure that all bugs are gone. One thing I also learned while washing my car is the fact that you need to go from upper body to lower body because on the under panels of your car uh, dirt can pile up real quick and the upper sides, well, it's way less, you know. And otherwise your sponge is already dirty. And also most of the time I clean the inside first, but yeah, now I'm lazy. Don't blame me guys, it's Friday. Now it's time for the most satisfying part. Oh, let's see that we don't create a swimming pool over here. back to life. Now I need to put this under the bucket. Out of them. Nah man, I already made a mess. Now I just need to dry the car with this dry towel. Super easy. And take up a lot of water so you can dry your whole car with one towel. Now with this car, I do have a story to tell about paint chips because the first time I took delivery of this car, I drove it back home from Bruges and a truck's load fell off. I drove over it and one stone catched right in my front of the car. And you probably can't even see it on camera, but if we come closer like above my thumb, there is a dent. I know my camera doesn't catch it, but there is a dent, trust me. And then there's also a lot of white dents that you guys probably can't see. We got here, here, here a lot, here on the side. But yeah, the front got hit a lot. I am only going to fix like the visible white stripes on both sides of the car. Maybe if I really feel good that I do all of these things, but well, yeah, I'm not a detailer and don't have the time for that. But this one is really important because if I look, I see it over there and the passengers see it over there. I know that there is damage so I'm always looking at it and I don't like it. Now the sky really tells me that something not good is coming our way so I'm going to clean up the garage and make sure that I can drive the car into the garage when it starts raining. For this next portion of the vlog we're going to clean the surface of the tire or the, or the rims as you might say. and. We're going to make sure that no water is on, even though it doesn't matter. So we can get a better look at what it looks like before and after. So I'm going to take this wooden thing over here and put some white spray. Some kind of a paint remover, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, we got it, finally. So I'm just going to go right over it. As you can see, a lot of dirt already got on the bottom thing here, but yeah, we need some more. I was hoping that it went a little bit quicker than this. It's starting to get dark real quick, so I'm going to park it inside. Before I forget, there's also a package that will make this video more enjoyable. The package. Uh -huh. What could it be? What could it be? Okay, so the first thing that's inside of this package uh, is the Mazda MX-5 Soul Red Crystal paint. So we got the paint itself and the coating that needs to go over it. It's time to start painting. So first of all we will go and clean up the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some cleaning alcohol and just wipe smoothly over the surface that we want to touch up. All right, that's good. We will take the MX-5 paint. So we've got the touch up pencil base coat, Sol Red Crystal 46V. So we've got this one 
right? The, the good stuff from the Mazda dealership. So it is the right color normally. And just a quick tip is that you don't use like this brush that's on top that's way too big. You just uh, use a toothpicker or a small pencil. We're going to open it here and check for the paint inside. Ooh, that looks quite good. Um, so slowly go over it. It actually looks quite good already. That will do the job, I think. Let's just shine with the flashlight and like touch up some spots. And just like that, the first coating is finished. Let's go. Tomorrow we will put on the touch up pencil clear coat to make it blend in with the soul red crystal that is already on the car. From now on I can put it here with my car products et voila. Perfect. And we will go and have a look from the inside. Well, it is quite clearly invisible. Like, I know where the spots are, so I can see them. But you guys can't. This is just a reflection of the light, so try and find the spot where I just painted. I would say that I did a pretty great first job. But now it's time for the unboxing of the package that I received. So what do we have over here? Well, it's very simple. I already opened it, so I do know the answer. We got the new... Ceremonic 4-in-1 wireless microphone system. So we will unbox this, test it out, and hopefully we got better quality sound. I also found like this light to... Make the lightning a bit better here, and you can do all kinds of modes. You can make it a bit more yellow, a bit more blue, or just more natural white light. And we can dim it, we can lighten it up more. Pretty nice to do indoor videos right now. So we'll start by opening this microphone. Ceremonic 4-in-1 wireless system. I'm a terrible unboxer, by the way, so don't blame my skills. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so what do we have in the small box? Let's open that first. Ooh, okay. Inside. Oh, we've got cables. We've got the cables in a bag. One of our wind covers is in here. Pretty nice. Okay. And this bag of salt that you always get. I'm wondering, isn't there a second one as well? Because we have two microphones, or is it just the reserve? Aha! Aha! We've got a second one. And here is the real deal. Alright, this looks like real business. So, we've got the receiver, which goes on top of the camera. This device will receive all of the signals the microphones send out and capture it on the camera. Pretty nice, okay. Let's put it here for a moment. And then we've got two microphones. And this is a probably an adapter for some kind of use. I'm not sure. We need to read the manuals. This is, by the way, not a sponsored product. But I watched some reviews and this were uh, coming out as the best quality for price. And I bought these also with the YouTube ad revenue. So pretty cool to finally invest some kind of the money back into the channel to upgrade the quality. Okay, so I found the use of these like small adapters. So if we do it like this, voila. You can also connect a smartphone, which is pretty nice. So you can receive signals on two kind of devices. Pretty cool. Let's see how much better we've got in here. We've got two stripes, so I think we will be able to test it right now. Okay, perfect. Now it's time to do the review of the first time using these little microphones. So, there's not a lot of wind inside, but I'm still going to put on these covers for the show, because I will probably be always using them. Perfect. Okay, so then the other thing we're going to do is, like, tie it in my t-shirt. And voila! Now I have a microphone, which is always tied to my t-shirt. And whenever I'm filming, you guys will always hear 
this voice the same volume the same tone and i hope it will be more enjoyable to like watch the videos hello this is a test from close and what if we go a bit further do we still hear the voice you guys will probably hear me at the same tone that you will be hearing me when i'm close so more enjoyable to watch the videos very cool using this microphone because now i can just walk wherever i want and you guys will still hear me at the same volume pretty nice i can just go behind the car and now i can do my outro i just did another coating so the second layer of paint not the coating yet that's for tomorrow but i needed to do some final finishes on the bottom side so that i won't be seeing it from my driver's position and normally it will be fixed so tomorrow we are going to the circuit of solar actually my first time driving on the circuit it will be electric but that doesn't matter i'm going to test drive three cars and well one of them i bought so pretty cool to see whether i will like it on circuit or not but for now i hope you all enjoyed it make sure to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one i'm sorry make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace